Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're going to talk about the news that got dropped uh, during the week. Basically today they didn't drop everything in one shot, they basically dropped a little bit every single day. But we're going to start with this one right here. Challenge the Great Count and guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know why everything is stretched out. Some of them are stretched out and some of them are regular. So. I'm sorry for that one. On Friday, uh, by the way, if you guys know how to fix this, let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, Challenge the Great Count will be available Friday the 26th. So right here, you guys will be able to challenge this big bad boy count. Uh, let's see what uh, Little Mog has to say. Magic attacks are ineffective against him, Kupo, so use physical attacks. You should weaken his, his offensive parameters, Kupo. So uh, I guess magic and attack breaks are going to be really, really good on him. And you won't be able to do any magic attacks on him. So physical damage dealers, get ready because you're going to have your work cut off. Or maybe not. Maybe it's going to be really easy. So let's see. Uh, as long as it's not as bad as last year with the inner, ch uh, inner, chamber, inner chamber castle. Man, I got to say that boss was terrible. So initial... Initial completion reward, you get a 5% Moogle, which is always normal, pretty standard by now. Uh, complete the quest, you get a 5% Moogle. No limit burst, 10,000 red vials. Uh, no items, you get 2 rare summon tickets, so we're going to be working on that to make sure we don't use an item. And Evoke an Esper, you get the Unholy Grimoire, which is a book, but also is a staff with uh, Spirit 98, MP 10%, and Dark Elemental which is really, really nice, especially for newcomers to the game. This staff will be actually really, really, really good for you guys. Then, we're going to go into the notices. We're going to start, uh, you know what? We're going to start right here with the uh, three-star Esper unlock. So you guys will be able to fight Odin and Phoenix to basically make them three-star. So they're officially out uh, on Thursday. So basically tomorrow after maintenance. Uh, I'm really excited for Odin, man. He's so cool. Can't wait to make him 3 star to have even more attack on your characters. Then, we're gonna move on right here. The story continues without any spoiler, which is good right now because it's zoomed in all kinds. Uh, chapter 5, part 1 on the second season. We're gonna go down here and we will be getting a new Esper. So, Anima is finally here. Uh, you guys can see right here, Evoke, uh, Evocation, Oblivion, she does dark damage, and uh, you guys will want to build her uh, magic and spirit, which is going to be her highest stats, so she will be finally, he or she will be finally here on uh, Thursday after maintenance, so if you guys are far away in the story, you will be able to get him or her uh, really, really quickly. Plus Odin and uh, Phoenix as a 3-star Esper, which is really, really nice. They've been really generous and been uh, pumping out those 3-star uh, Esper fights a lot faster lately, which is nice. Also, in the Chamber of Awakening, uh, you guys will be able, as they're saying right here, uh, you'll be able to farm a little bit more, a little bit faster. So, monsters in all difficulty levels now drop more awakening materials. Players can now earn more awakening materials to easily awaken their favorite units, and each difficulty level will be renamed according to the unit rarity for which the awakening material can be obtained. So, this is actually really, really good, uh, especially for newcomers. Uh, if you want to level up your 4 star into 5 star, or even for me, uh, or for older players, sometimes you want to make your 4 stars into 5 stars. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm lacking a lot of those materials. So that will be actually pretty, pretty good to make uh, some of the four stars become five star. So uh, thank you, Gumi, for that. And uh, yeah, that's uh, actually a little, little, little bit of uh, good news for that. Then, last one, Ability Awakening update. So this Thursday, after the maintenance, you guys will be able to awaken the abilities of Pirate Jake, Ruby Conte, Cagnasso, William, Chloe, Illusious Nicole, Barbaricha and Grim Lord Sakura and trust me guys Barbaricha does so much damage as a seven star and it's really really cool that you're able to awaken her abilities after her being a seven star she's gonna do a lot of damage trust me on that one and Illusious Nicole I can't wait to see what it's gonna be uh, I'm pretty sure you might be able to make a hundred percent hundred percent cover tank for maybe three to four turns uh, That would be pretty pretty nice. Maybe make his break a little bit stronger So uh, we'll see and Grimlord Sakura. I guess she's just gonna have a lot more magic power, which is always great so these 
are going to be the characters that you guys are going to be able to uh, awaken their abilities on Thursday after maintenance. Also, we're going to go back to the home and we're just going to talk about something real fast. Basically, this Friday, they didn't drop any news, but they said on their YouTube channel that on uh, Friday, you guys will be able to pull for the Valkyrie Profiles units. Yes, they are finally out, guys. Uh, they're going to come on Friday, like I just said. If I'm not mistaken, they're going to be part of a raid event, so you guys will be able to farm some raid coins, uh, which I, I'm, I'm happy for that, because you know what? Free rare summon tickets, uh, lots of... Uh, <laughs> Metal Cactuars that we need for our 7 star unit. Uh, Gill Snappers which is really really good. And also guys the TMRs and Super TMRs of the Valkyrie Profile units will be amazing. If it's like in Jap uh, Japanese version we're going to have 3 5 stars that will be able to go into 7 star. We're going to have 1 4 star and 1 3 star. And guys their TMRs are really really good. So if you have a lot of Lapis stick it saved up. Keep them for Friday because these units are going to be really, really good. Uh, maybe not game breaking, but their super TMRs and TMRs are actually really, really good. So if you guys want to be able to pull for more than one of them, you should go for it. And as you guys can see in the background, my team for the uh, farming is really terrible. I have no luck with the rainbows, guys. I don't know where all my luck went. Hopefully it went to you guys, but right now I'm having no luck. All these summons are poopy. So hopefully this Friday, uh, I'm going to try to summon for some Valkyrie profile units and uh, I'll be able to maybe get a rainbow or two in there. That's just my hopes. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, hope you guys are having a lot more luck than I do in uh, these, uh, these summons because right now it's been poopy, poopy, poopy. But hey, you know what? Like I said, if my luck went to you guys, I'm happy about that. Hopefully you guys are pulling all the rainbows that you want. Guys! Thank you so much for watching this video. It was short, but it was just to tell, talk about the news and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Please, if you are new to this channel, subscribe down below. Leave a like on this video. Don't be shy. Comment down below if you're excited for the Valkyrie profile units. And uh, hopefully you guys will have a nice day. Guys, I'm out. Peace.